Hey YouTube, it's Melissa. I'm like seriously behind on updating y'all. And I'm really hoping the boys, I turned out the light. Don't know if it's going to work. Um, so anyways, let's see. I left you guys off, I believe, at um, the last ultrasound I probably did. The first ultrasound I went to where we just saw the yolk sac. Uh, not, I mean the gestational sac, no yolk sac. Wow. That was, I don't know, I'm not good at dates anymore. Um, whatever, it, I think it was the 28th, I want to say. Friday the 28th. Anyways, um, so uh, my next appointment was to do intralipids. And my second round of intralipids. And then we're going to do a ultrasound as well. Um, oh, that's actually where I left you off because I recorded a little video going up there which I've yet to upload. So I'm going to upload that before I upload this one. Do I have to come cover your cage to make you think it's night-night time? So mommy's tired. She just wants to do this. So, um, anyways, and I don't know how to pause on this. Like, I can pause on my new phone when I record a video, but I can't pause on this. Or I'm sure I can, I just don't know how. But anyways, um, so... What was I saying? Yeah, that's where I left you off. Anyways, so January 4th, I had my ultrasound. Six weeks, zero days exactly, ultrasound. And um, so but I went out there, they hooked me up to the IV first. So here I'm in a chair with an IV in my, my wrist right here. And, um, then, like, with no drawers on, a sheet, and so they come in to do the, um, the picture, uh, what they use is like, you don't know, it's like a wand, it's like, well, maybe this is a little long. Um, okay, because sort of like this, they come at you with a wand kind of like this. It's probably a little more like this this long but it's not this thick so Mel if you're actually watching this I mean Nessa if you're actually watching this <laughs> this is what you're getting so anyways I, I don't know why I think that's funny but it is it's not it's okay it's not bad they put a condom on it and they move it up they, they warn you if you like they'll, you can put it in first and then they'll guide it so anyways the wand so Right before she puts the wand in, I'm like, I'm literally almost in tears. So, um, they took my blood pressure and it was like 136 on 86. And, um, I was like, oh God, that's high. And they're like, oh, it's not that high. I'm like, yes, it is that high. That's high. So anyways, I, I guess I was just scared. And, you know, part of the reason I was scared is that I had lost all my nausea symptoms like two days before. So like on the January 2nd, like I had no more nausea. And so I was like, oh, that's not a good thing. I'm losing symptoms, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, so, so she goes in with the wand. And um, I'm looking kind of like this side because the screen's like over here. And, um, <laughs> and I thought I saw something. Like I thought I saw the sack and I thought I saw a little something in the sack. And I'm like, I think I saw something. And she's like, I, I think you did too, but... I need to lower the bed. So she like pulls out the wand. <laughs> and they lower the bed, right? So then she goes back in with the wand. And sure enough, there's definitely something in there. And now I'm looking to see if it's pulsating. Because they told me, you know, you have a small percent. You have a, I guess they are saying like maybe a 50-50 chance of seeing a heartbeat at that point. Because I was just exactly six weeks. So I'm looking and I see the little pulsation. And I mean, immediately I just... All I could say, honestly, was, I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. I am, oh, thank you, Jesus, oh, I'm so blessed. I am blessed. Wow, I am so blessed. Do you know how blessed I am, I'm saying to them? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we get it, you're blessed. I'm like, no, you don't get it. Like, you really don't. Like, I'm really blessed. Like, truly, truly blessed. Like, this, you know, they're just, I know they were trying to understand me, but... But they, 
They weren't. Not quite, you know? Because I am blessed. I, I am so blessed. And um, I'm going to show you as much as I can. It's so little. It's itty bitty. And it's not like a real high tech machine they have there. You know, after all, it's made by Oral B. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to try to show you. Do you see over there in the corner? I don't even want to point, but do you see in the corner like the little... Woo, I can't even, I can't even do this. Right there where my finger just was. There's a little baby there. And it was had a heartbeat. And on the video, which I would really try to insert here if I could. I don't know how to do that. So it'll probably just be a separate video. Like I got a little video of it and you can actually see in the video the little pulsation and you can also see the yolk sac, what you can't see in this picture. But um, so it was pretty amazing. I, again, like all I could just keep saying was I'm so blessed. And then they took my blood pressure, mind you, it was 136 over 86 right before. And they took it afterwards before they started the infusion of the intralipids. It was 110 on 70. Like, I was like, just whoosh. So, I just felt 100% better. They told me the measurements were all good. Um, I made them measure everything. They're like, okay. I want to know what my lining is. We don't need to know the lining. I want to know the lining. You don't, Okay, well, your lining's 22. I'm like, okay, now how about my cervix? How long is my cervix? Um, you don't need to know that yet. I know, but I want to know. Okay, your lining's for, I mean, your cervix length is 42. So it was, I drove her crazy. She told me everything was perfect, everything looked great. The um, heartbeat was one, technically 121, 120.89 something says on my thing. So, um, and my, um, my uh, HCG went up to uh, 26,000. And um, I expected it actually to be higher, but I mean, it's starting to take longer now to double, which they, I, I looked on these, this chart and um, if I I'll actually try to put the link of this chart in there because it's actually a good thing, a good gauge. But after you reach certain goals of the HCG, as it were, like after 5,000 or so, that's when it starts taking longer to, to double. But anyways. There's a big wide range in numbers, but mine look fine. So I need to stop concentrating on numbers because I do that a lot. Anyways, um, what else? Um, I guess symptoms, I guess, we'll go over. I, I said I lost my nausea symptoms. Uh, whereas before I really had no appetite, I had to make myself eat. Now I'm like really hungry and I'm craving meat, like steak and like red meat, like stuff that I don't normally eat a lot of. I'm just like, <laughs> and um, what else? I'm very thirsty. This, this is no lie. See how big this is? I, I can drink like, I'm going to have some now if you don't mind, I'm thirsty. I can easily, I would have drank more, but I've been rude. I can drink probably two of these while I'm at work, at least. Um, I could probably drink more, uh, which is fine, except now I'm having to pee a lot, particularly at night. And it's so frustrating because I get back into bed and I'm all comfy and cozy. And I'm like, I want to pee. No, I don't have to pee. I ignore it. So I'll like, flip positions. Can't ignore it. Got to pee. So whatever. I don't know. Don't want to bore you guys. Um, so our next appointment is the 15th, January 15th. I will be seven weeks, four days. And that one, Corey's going to be able to go with me. He, he wasn't able to go to the last one. or the the He was able to go to the first one where we saw this, just the gestational sac, but he wasn't able to go to this one when I was six weeks. And, um, excuse me. And, uh, but he's going to go to this one. We both have next Tuesday off. So that's when it's going to be, 1 o'clock. Um, oh, that's the other major symptom that has not gone away. I am so tired. Like, I can truly, right now it's 1025, 
And I'm like beyond tired now. By 7.30 that tonight, I was so ready to lay down and go to, go to bed. Or at least take like a four hour nap. I, I'm just so tired. And I've actually lost weight. Um, which is a good thing. I'm thinking, you know, huh? I think really I might have lost weight just because of no alcohol. You know, like no alcohol and not a whole lot of like um, sugary foods. You know, like uh, no chocolate and no alcohol. And so that means no Snickers, no, you know, all those little things that I like. Anyways. So I lost some weight, which is actually good because I'm fat. And I, <laughs> it, I'm only going to get bigger at some point. So if I can lose some before then, that's a good thing. Um, 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 um. So what else? That's it. The, or oh, after that appointment, I think they're going to release me. I think they're going to kick me to the curb. Uh, so I have been sort of going back and forth between two OBs, uh, or OB groups. Uh, I'm going to probably end up going with the group that I was with initially. I think because they already have all my testing and everything, it's just going to be much easier. And I kind of like that everything's in one building. The, the, the really good ultrasound, you know, machine is literally like downstairs, like down one floor from the... Where, where you see the OB and they have a little rinky dink one in there but everything's right there so I just kind of like it Red Robin is like downstairs too <laughs> um, Five Guys is downstairs um, CVS is downstairs it's, it's quite convenient anyways um, so I think that's about it I, was, I really didn't want to make this long anyways um, holy crap it's almost 12 minutes long <laughs> I'm sorry um, so that's about it. I, you know, I, I know I'm forgetting something, but I just wanted to let you guys know, thank you so much for following along on my journey with me. And thank you for your prayers, for your positive thoughts, for your, you know, Hey, how's it going? You know, all that type of stuff. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, all the BFPs out there that, you know, the new ones, the not so new ones, like Melissa baby dreams is like now 12 weeks pregnant. 12 weeks. That's three months. That rocks, Melissa. You rock. Now, and Nessa, they're about to get knocked up. <laughs> Nessa's about to get the wand. Why do I think that's so funny? I really do. You're going to kill me, but I really think it's, it's hilarious. Okay, so for the rest of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. It's one of those things. So, um, I don't know. If there's any questions you guys have, let me know. I uh, write in the comments below. I, I do I do look at the comments and I do appreciate the comments because it makes me feel like somebody cares. Are they listening to me? Even when I'm just rambling for 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Um, happy 2013 to you guys. I hope you have a very blessed, blessed year. Lots of babies being made and babies being born. And um, a lot of blessings blessings coming down and blessings going around and I am just so eternally grateful to have my blessing like I just I feel I, I that's all I can say really I just feel blessed like it's finally my turn I find it's fine it's finally you know it's like seeing your own lifetime movie <laughs> only it's not a lifetime movie it's your story and it's happening and it's and you're to the good part now but Anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to try to get this vlog uh, uploaded along with the other one. And I'm going to try to in somehow insert the heartbeat one. I don't know how to do that. If anybody does, hit me up in the inbox, message me or whatever. That'd be cool. I'd love to know so I can make this a little better as we go along. Because it looks like I'm going to be making pregnancy vlogs. I really, I'm already in, technically, right? Because I'm six weeks Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's Tuesday, right? Six weeks, four days. I'll be six weeks, five days tomorrow. I'm... Alright, I'm going. I love you guys. Nessa, I'm still laughing. Alright, uh, take care anyways. Seriously. Uh, have a blessed week and God bless. There's no way to assume.
can't even see the heartbeat, but oh, I do see the heartbeat. All right, now guess boy or girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yolk sack. It's that circular area here. Is it the appropriate size? Yes, yeah, it's perfect. Oh, looks perfect. And what, do you measure it at this point? Or yeah. Can you? I can't measure the heartbeat. Oh, no, I meant. But, yes. You the, can't even get like a, you can't even.